In this video I want to talk about um, some of the questions in um, topic 3 hardware and these are activities from the book. Um, these focus on the central processing unit and von Neumann architecture. So here are the questions. We've got buses used in von Neumann architecture and we've got a paragraph or a couple of paragraphs that we need to complete. So first of all name three buses used in the von Neumann architecture. Then we're going to describe the function of each of these named buses and we'll describe how bus width and clock speed can affect computer performance. Okay, that's the first part. So let's have a little look at this. Here, I've been onto Creative Commons and got myself a diagram. This is the CPU broken into all its parts. Um, the ALU, the CU, ACC, PC and all, all the rest of it. Okay. And this is connected to the, the RAM, the random access memory. And then we've got to put some secondary storage here, which we don't need to worry about for this. Um, name three buses. Well, I've got them listed here. Data bus, address bus, and the control um, and timing bus. So, there they are. Data bus, address bus, control bus, and timing bus. So it says they're the three, but what do they do? Well, first of all, the control bus. Yeah, this carries signals from the from the CU, from the control unit, yeah, to all other components. It's bidirectional, so it travels in both directions. Address bus, okay, passes an address one way. It's unidirectional from the CPU to the RAM, okay. The sole purpose of an address bus it identifies the address of the location in memory that is to be read from or written to. So it's identifying where something lives or where it needs to live. And finally, data bus. Um, it carries data to memory from the processor and vice versa, from the CPU and vice versa. So it's going backwards and forwards. But what's it doing? Well, it's carrying data. The data bus will transfer data to and from the address that is held in the address bus. So the address bus knows where it needs to live. The data bus is transferring that data either to or fetching it. Um, from. We're talking about the fetch decode execute cycle that we've mentioned before in chapter 2. Describe how bus width, the width of these buses, um, and clock speed can affect computer performance. Well, let's have a little look. Um, wider address and data buses would increase the computer's performance, but a wider control bus would have very little effect, probably no effect on the performance. A higher clock speed would increase a processor speed, but, and this has been mentioned before, but overclocking could have serious consequences such as unsynchronized operations or overheating. We move on. I've put the words in. Complete the following paragraph by using terms from this chapter. So the CPU, it fetches, yeah? It fetches data and instructions required for an application and temporary stores them in the current instruction register, the CIR until they can be processed. The program counter is used to hold the address of the next instruction to be executed. The address is copied to the memory address register, the MAR, using the address bus. The contents of the address is stored in the memory data register, the MDR. Each instruction is then decoded and finally executed, fetch, decode, execute, by sending out control signals using the control bus. Any calculations carried out are done using the arithmetic and logic um, unit ALU, mathematical calculations. During any calculations, data is temporarily held in a special purpose register known as the ACC or the accumulator. So that is it. That is activity 3.1. Nice and easy. Um, this bit's rather complicated. You've really got to know your way around the CPU and von Neumann architecture. Okay, thank you for watching. Please, please, please support the channel. I have put the um, buy me a coffee link at the end of this video. Please have a look. Thank you very much indeed, and I will see you next time. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.